And we are back for another edition of the Monday Morning Quarterback Film Study Week 2 as we break down the Wolverines' 35-7 to victory over the UNLV. Did you know it wasn't the Running Rebels? I thought it was the Running Rebels. They I don't told- know nothing about that, but it's whoa, so whoa, funny. Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't know about the Running Rebels? Listen, it's so you funny. You don't know about the Running Rebels? Every time we do this show, you sound exactly the same. How do you do that? Wait, but wait. No, I man, mean, I, I don't know old. about no Running Rebels. No, I don't know the, what that the, is. The early night, 1990. I was born in 91. Damn. Mm-hmm. That's like that's like that's like the, the year I was born. That's like the year the Runner Rebels was doing anything. Larry Johnson, Stacy Allman. I was in the embryonic sta- stages of my Greg football Anthony development. Anderson Hunt. I was in the little embryonic stages of my football <laughs> development. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Moses Curry. I don't know who that's are, I don't know who any of those people are. Man, go uh, what back. What sport are you talking about? Go back. What and sport? Just pull it. Pull up the Runner what Rebels sport? on YouTube. Oh my God! You don't even know the Runner Rebels basketball. Come on, man. I was Only born one of the greatest in the year teams all they were running. The year they were running, I hadn't even come. I had. Been, I was born at the end of 91, too. Remember, I was born in 91, like, my birthday is in December. I was inside my mom's belly while they were running. Okay, all right. I guess I cut you some slack, man, but. I was Ooh. a thought, at least. That, you know, yeah, I was a have, thought. See, we got to bring this up on Dropping Dives with, with Daniel. Because Daniel's like, man, Devin, he knows everything. Devin, he knows everything. I don't everything. know Running Rebels. <laughs> You don't know the Running Rebels. I don't know the Running Rebels. Sorry. I'm sorry, Running Rebels. I'm sure you guys are great. But I just, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I, I just don't really. You know who Suge Knight is, right? Boy, I know who, I know who Suge Knight do is, know, yes. Do you know who Suge Knight played for? I didn't know Suge Knight played sports, but it seemed like he should. <laughs> yeah, he's a defensive lineman for the oh, he UNLV Rebels. Was. You, know what I, you know a person that in the NFL that I would say is Suge Knight, like the Suge Knight of football, the left tackle for the 49ers, Big 71. Ah, what is the I can't think name? of his name right now, but he, he's a monster. I'm scared of him. <laughs> I'm not scared of a lot of people. And I don't even play defense. He would actually be an ally for me. I would still be a little all bit scared. All right, so, so since we're on this kick, do you know who Icky Woods is? Icky Woods doing the Icky Shuffle? The Icky Shuffle. Yeah. He played UNLV running back. Bengals. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about UNLV, but Bengals. But you know about, yeah, you know Icky Woods and Randall Cunningham, of course. I mean, you're doing football stuff, though. I know football. Okay, okay. You're talking about some running Rebels basketball. I ain't start playing basketball until I was 10. <laughs> And I never really loved it that much. Okay. I mean, all right. All I right. like it because I'm we really pretty good you, at it. We're going to cut you a little slack, all right? More, slack than, slack. more slack than Michigan cut UNLV. They cut zero slack for those running Rebels. Yeah, more slack than <laughs> JJ. He didn't cut, cut them. Cut them. Oh, my, uh, man. You talk about dude that is it was several texts after the game, some from guys on the team who saw him all summer, saw him all spring, and they was like, man, this dude is on a different level. Like, he's a different guy. Like, I got three texts like that after the game. The dudes who see him every day are saying he's a different guy, Devin. I mean. Let's go. I mean, I I, I feel like I <laughs> I feel like I feel foreshadowed this whole thing. But, I mean, I don't know. Maybe everybody's surprised. I'm sorry I can't get as excited because I already knew. Like, I mean, I don't know. Who you want from me? <laughs> hey, that, they, that they're so excited is exciting to me. But let's go ahead. You know like what's you crazy? Said. I foreshadowed this. I knew all this already. Even the guys that was with him every day ain't even knowing I knew. They surprised. Look at that. Talk about some insight, huh? Yeah. Hey, okay. <laughs> Pat yourself on the back. <laughs> Emmy Award winner. You know I'm a kid. Emmy, yeah. Emmy Award winner. Oh, you know. I, thank you. Well, since we're on the subject. You know, <laughs> but but you know it's so funny. Um, Because, you know, when people, when I kind of, uh, you know, I get in, I've talked to you about arguments I've been into, you know, because it's really not arguments. It's just me telling people what it is about like JJ and different things like that. So everybody thinks that like we just be talking a lot and kicking it like it, it, it's not that. It's just I just watch the film and and see what I see. Oh, and, that's true. You know, all that stuff like we ain't I can like, attest to that. Buddy, like you, buddy, uh, yeah, you ain't on the phone with JJ yeah, all the time. Yeah, we don't no. talk at all. Actually, I, only time I've talked to JJ is if I've seen him. Like if I see him at a game, hey, what up? Or uh, I remember true. I took the young go getters up there. He he talked to all of them for me and you know kind of that was really cool. Him and Declan Bile, but. Other than that, like that's the extent of our relationship for real. So the the fact that you know people get all oh you 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 that's your boy that's what nah I just like these good at football. I mean for right. Michigan, right? It, it all goes back to he's good at football for Michigan. You know what I mean? Right. Not to mention from everything that I've seen, he's a good dude. So you know I'm always in support of a good dude that can ball, and that kid can ball. And this video, the footage used in it, <laughs> is not owned by us. We use it strictly for the entertainment the education, and the edification of you, the people. No money 
is made from this video. We don't get advertising. We don't get sponsorship. This is strictly for you, our people. Now, However, <laughs> if you want to support the cause, if you want to support the effort, the energy, the time that it takes, Devin comes all the way. From Southfield. From Southfield. In the every morning. Monday. And I don't know if anybody knows, I'm not a morning guy. I would yeah, much rather sleep. Yeah, so, I mean, this, this takes time and effort. <laughs> if you want to support us in the time and effort that it puts to go through the film, break it down, do all the telestrations, you can do so by going to our PayPal donation, the, the Monday Morning Quarterback Support Fund. Any die, any dollars, welcome PayPal, and appreciate it. I got Venmo, yeah. Cash App. It's yeah, like, you, no. you go on that. We'll put it right in the comments. And you go to the comment section, you click the link, boom, whatever. You, people are already starting to donate. So we appreciate your support. Need your support because we are making any money off this video. So that is not just. To be clear. That is not just no happenstance. Money. I'm throwing that out there for a reason to make sure they stay off our back. So help us out. All right, let's go ahead and get to the video now. And bring it back up. And this was the first play of the game, or the first play for the offense, DG, where, mm. um, you know, JJ, it is a play action flood. All right, so talk us through it. We're going to go ahead so, and So, you know, go play action. They're flooding the field, just like you said. Uh, and it happens so fast where he gets to his back step, he climbs and hits the running back right away. Right, and so you're like, man, is this check down Charlie, right? Is this the guy that's dropping back to throw to the back? Absolutely not. What he's able to do is really process things quickly, right? He gets comes out of it, hits his back foot. Now, you got three guys, right? One sprinting back to get underneath the tight end. One on top of uh, Roman Wilson already, right, in his third. And then you got the middle safety that sees it happening. He's like, I got to go help over there, right? So you got three on two. It's just a math problem. You got three on two. However... You do not have somebody for the back. The guy that you would have for the back, because Blake Corm is going to see that protection is sure, and then he's going to sneak out into the flat. The guy that you have to get him is in the middle. He's the middle linebacker. And, and in football, we have a thing that we call, and I, and I literally just got on all the young go-getters about it, getting the ball two guys when they outflank the defense right away. Right? Don't wait, especially on the first play of the game. Get the ball, because you're going to have time to go get to those second, third level routes. But in this case, you the, the perfect decision is to get to the running back, especially quickly, especially the running back that we have, right, in Blake Corum. And you see it turns to a 20-some yard gain. But the fact that he's able to process that so quickly, see, these guys are on top. You got a guy underneath on top of Roman, underneath the tight end. Let me get it to my back right away. It looks as if he just dropped back to throw to the back, which is so impressive. And, and it goes back to the neck up that we've talked about. Uh, for the last couple of weeks, being able to play the game before the game starts, before the play starts, right, in protection last week, and then now being able to process what the defense is trying to do after turning your back, right? So you only get a half a second to see it, right? You turn your back for the play action, you get on, only get a half a second to see it. He sees what they're doing right away with three on two, and he's like, well, I got one who's outflanked the linebacker, and the linebacker has no chance of running Blake Quorum down to the flat. So this is this is a – Outstanding play and an outstanding way to start the game. You want to start. Who doesn't want to start the game with a 20 yard gain that you only had to throw it to? Right, right. So this isn't one of those class, one of those examples that maybe we've seen in yesteryear where. Maybe. Where you're. We, we 100% have seen it. No, no, I'm talking about where check down is your first option every time. No, no, no. We 100% have seen it. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's a fact. It's a fact that in our offense, we've had a quarterback that dropped back to throw to the back. Oh, so we've watched the film and dissect it, but we didn't put it out there because we were being kind and all that kind of stuff. But we've watched our quarterback drop back, see guys open. Well, don't see guys open because he just threw it to the back. Right. So, but in that. Not for a 20 yard game. Yeah, right. For a one yard game. Point. That's my point. <laughs> yeah. In this instance, he threw it to a, you know, to a, to a check down who yeah. has. A, in a high leverage, this is a – that, That's he's the word. The Outflank the defense. So, Outflank the defense. So this brings about a question that we got from uh, TMI, from the message board. Someone wanted to know about this very play. Said, you know, ask Devin, and I have to bring it, but I'll find it. But basically they wanted to know, ask Devin, if you look at this play, and we see on top number one, um, you probably can't see my cursor, but you see a Broman running down like a, like a corner. And – there, it looks open, but you got a couple of things that you it, that oh, you time mentioned. out, time out, time out. It looks open. The third defender, which Roman's going to the third right on a corner, he's going to the deep third. The third defender is in a Retreat. sprinter's position, retreating. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? I'm not. We're going to the next play. I'm, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not addressing it. I'm You're not, not going to address the question. No, you can. I just told you. 
<laughs> He's like, I just heard the question from the people. They they want you to to explain why, and you just did, but explain so why. So why are we still here? And, and I wanted to highlight, hey, look, JJ, pocket presence. He feels the pressure coming to the side. That's great. You also notice, you you noted, man, he got Blake out leveraging the defender. I'm just trying to give you, you know, help the people out, man. No, nah, man. <laughs> you want to help the people you out. You got a third defender sprinting back, and Roman hasn't even gotten to his break, and we hey. trying to throw it deep. See, that's goofy. That's only, Pat, you play only goofy Patrick games, Holmes. Only you Pat, win goofy Pat prizes. Pat Holmes does that now. Pat Holmes does that. But well, he hold Pat on, Holmes. my chief. Two Super Bowls, two Super Bowl MVPs, <laughs> two NFL MVPs. He can do what he wants. He can do what he wants. And if he throw a pick, we'll just have to, hey, dust it off and we'll see again. <laughs> I mean, Hold on, man. Watch, what you I watched that dude throw. He's already a clip, Peyton Manning. <laughs> I, hey, man. And, my, and a lot of people say, not everybody, a, a lot of a good group of people say he's the best quarterback ever. Now, we don't believe that, but whatever. He, he's up there. He's top three, top hey, five. Man. This man has eclipsed him, and he is only five years into his career. It was funny. Don't you dare bring back to Mahomes in this game. No, again. no, but just people see that, yeah. and they think, oh, you can do it, right? There was a play. Nobody can do what Patrick Mahomes is doing. There was a play a couple of years or ago shouldn't. where Pat Mahomes, so he takes the snap, he retreats to his left. Blitz is bearing down. They're, the Ravens, they're playing the Ravens. Ravens in three deep coverage. And this dude, <laughs> man, this is what made me say this might be the best dude I've ever seen from an arm talent and, and athleticism standpoint. He he drops back. The, the pressure is coming down. They're in three deep. He has, I can't remember who the receiver was that was running. He was running a a, a corner. And the, the DB man is thinking to himself, there's no way. He's throwing it this far. He's throwing this it this late. far. <laughs> and I'm in and I'm in three. I'm sprinting back. Just like we just see this man. And yeah. do you know from and it's diagonal. So I'm over here. I'm sorry, be on screen. <laughs> <laughs> you was I'm on, over there. I'm, I'm on I'm on the other side of the hash, throwing the, all the way down the field diagonally across the other hash over a man's head in three deep coverage. Yeah. For a touchdown, Devin. And that's why he's who he is. Right. <laughs> like, it ain't no mistake. Dude is like insane. people like it's not a mistake that he's eclipsed the the excluding the MVPs is he's having had enough years. But excluding the MVPs, he's eclipsed Peyton Manning. In five years. Yeah, because the, the DB, I'm thinking the DB, he's DB's right. There's no way he should throw this ball. In five years, Sam. <laughs> and then you wanna know what's crazy? He would have eclipsed. He really would. Uh, Peyton Manning might not even, because Peyton Manning in that next Super Bowl, he didn't even do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Peyton. Up. You know, he was yeah, old. You know, had whatever. Great defense. Had but, a great defense. So think about it. Really, Peyton got one MVP in one Super Bowl. Play it lost. One, you know what I mean? I, he he is. Let's just get back to I the got deal. You. I got but you. the one thing I will say, I don't think that uh, JJ is incapable of making that play. Mm-hmm. But it's not the play. Right. It's not the play to make. Right. And I think, low key, I think they've kind of said, you know, come on, let's be a little safer. No, nah, I don't think that. Uh, he he said he even said as much. Like the we, next we year. got plays on here that's gonna say that he's ignoring not that. JJ. I'm talking about Pat Mahomes. Oh, okay, I was about yeah. to say because we no. got plays on here that we're gonna show in just a second that prove he on. If somebody told him that he's not listening, nah. yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I ain't talking. <laughs> he's about just that. playing good football. Yeah. All right. So here is yeah. play two, Devin, still in the first quarter. Yeah, and this is kind of like I talked about on Monday Morning Quarterback. This is kind of like the the knife that I like. But they do a different – it almost like knife dagger type where they got to clear out. They also have like that hitch swirl to hold the underneath linebacker, and then they have a dig behind. And uh, this is this is just good ball. He gets the ball over the linebacker and down. And, and I think this is a third down play, right? It's a third down play. And, and the thing is that I've been super impressed about uh, uh, among a lot of other things is – He's doing this on third down a lot of the time, Mm -hmm. right? Third and like not super long, but, you know, medium to long, right? He's doing a very good job, but uh, it's fun to see him because he has a plan, right? He has a plan. He knows what he wants. He he knows what he can get based off defense, and he's manipulating defense with his eyes, his body language, and is super impressive to watch. But this is just him getting into the middle of the field, uh, getting the ball up and over a linebacker and, and down into the receiver's hands on the dig. I like the way they did it, man. Clear out. It's it's almost dagger knife, mm-hmm. right? Which is two, you know, tools to See, cut things. But dagger, it's like they mix dagger and knife, right? Mm-hmm. Send a guy 
through the middle or, or across the fields, kind of, and then gotcha. get that hit swirl and then the dig behind. I mean, that's a and, – and it's crazy because, you know, everybody's saying, it's oh, it's so simple, we can't do it. But that's not simple. When you add knife and dagger, that's not a simple concept. When you get a guy screaming down the field to take the top off, which he is alive, as we know, with J.J., and then you have the hit swirl to hold the underneath defenders uh, and, and then a dig. That's, that's not basic – Football, like a lot of everybody's not doing this in their in their spring install day one. You know what I mean? But dagger and knife separately could be in the day one install, but not not whether you kind of add them together. So I pause the screen right here, Devin, just to highlight. It's a, it's not a lot of space, man. It's not a lot of space, but to highlight past conversations where this is an example of a play that is turned down in the past. Is it not? Oh, 100%. It, a middle cutting right, so a dig yeah. route. A dig route with guys in front and guys, guys behind. It's not going to happen because he's going to sell it over his head. Yeah. But when you got arm talent, man, that's what you can do. Right? Because like you said, in, in the past, he's covered as far as we're concerned. No. No, we're not. Look at look out, look at the space he has to get it over the linebacker. Actually, two linebackers. Right? Hands flailing all over the place. So the thing is, is J.J. is mixing the ability to play safe but also take risks. Right. Mm -hmm. So he he's becoming a really good, careful risk taker. Now, obviously, like I like I talked about on Monday morning quarterback, I empathize with the person that's gonna say this talent that he's playing against isn't very good. He he needs to show that he can do it against better talent. Fine. Even though we watched him play for a year last year where he was really good, right? I understand where you come from. I think that he can, and it's because of the techniques and the fundamentals that he's he's the new techniques and fundamentals he learned and he's worked on and, and it's making him a much better quarterback. Yeah, this is and, that. And, and not only a much better quarterback, the unqu- one of the unquestioned best quarterbacks in the country. Yeah, you, he's not leaving plays on the field, no. not leaving yards on the field. That is, that is as much a a story and a theme as anything. Yeah. You need to be paying attention to that. This is a play that's left on the field two years ago. Yeah, of course. Look, I mean, it's it's I think a key talking point. Y'all know he be trying to get me going. Okay, y'all know he be trying <laughs> to get me going. That's not true. But I'm not. That is not true. I'm not. I am showing a copy. He be trying we to get over, me going. We went over. We went over film studies. Me That's going. not true. That's not true. I'm who, trying who, to show. Who you talking about when you saying in the past? Well, when we <laughs> I'm talking I'm talking about comparing. So we're comparing the offense. We always compare JJ and this year's offense to last year's offense. It's true. Now we're comparing this year's offense to the offense two years ago. Why is this team? Capable of going farther you're just doing than, your job. La- than you're last saying. year's team. You're just doing your job right. as, a, as a media member Come and on. doing your thing. Why is this team? I mean, we've compared J.J. to J.J. Why is the 23 team capable of going farther than the 22 team? That's true. Why is the 23 team capable of going farther than the 21 team? Illustration. This is how we're doing it. That's how we're doing it. All right. Here we go. Play three. <laughs> you're my favorite. You're, you're awesome. <laughs> All right. All righty. Here we go. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is really good. All right. Once again, right. Drop this back movement down. in the pocket on third down. Create, create the, the creativity we talked about on Monday morning quarterback that he's able to do is because of practice reps where he's the guy. Right. And he's, he's been able to work on his game in that way. So you starts to run. And when he starts to run, right, what are you going to do to the defense? The defense is going to start to run. Right. That's exactly what you want. But keeping your eyes downfield, creating big plays. Now you got two guys. And what you're going to see here, he's doing it right now. So take a look at his hand with the ball. He's kind of giving that little pump fake to the guy on the right, right? And he's going to come off of that because somebody's going to cover him, and he's going to hit his high school teammate Morris in the middle of the field. Now, as we've talked about at nauseum, coaches say don't throw across your body, blah, 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 blah. If a guy's open and you can make the throw, that's this is how I coach it. If a guy's open and you can make the throw, check to make sure it's safe, right? In the backside and all those different things, make the throw, right? And and, and we talked about Patrick, Patrick Mahomes earlier. He's made that kind of a thing because it's like, wait a minute. He's not leaving any plays out there, and he's not turned the ball over a whole bunch, right? Mm-hmm. Careful risk taker. So why are we still coaching guys to not take open guys because of an old rule where guys just weren't as talented? Let's be clear. All right, back in the day, they just weren't as talented, didn't work on this stuff. Why are we telling guys not to take open guys? Now, obviously, don't be reckless, but careful risk taker. He's proven to be a guy that doesn't turn the ball over a bunch, especially in the passing game. And so I, I don't see why you would ever tell him not to make this play. That's an outstanding play by him. No doubt. And it starts off with him running, and we've seen it do him, seeing him do it a number of times already in these two weeks where he's running, attacking the line of scrimmage, and everybody knows what time it is when he runs. It's like we can't, we, we can't allow him to get going. 
He's got great speed. He's a great athlete. So they have to come up. And if they don't come up, he'll just run, right? I mean, pick your poison is basically what it is. And so I, it's it's good that he's putting it on tape over and over again because now at what you're going to see is teams are going to start to plaster when he runs. And plaster means stick to your man, right? Okay, fine. Green grass. Green grass. <laughs> good night, Irene. <laughs> right. So either you're going to give up the arm or you're going to give up the legs. Make a choice. Yeah, and they're gonna start. They're gonna start saying, "Okay, we'll give up the legs," and he's gonna have. Yeah, yep. And he's and obviously at that point he's gonna have to protect himself yeah. and all that. But he's gonna be able to run out of bounds, do his deal. And I'm just telling you, defensive corners do not like that. They don't like it. They don't like giving up big yardage to quarterbacks in the run game, and or the pass game where he starts to become a runner. So now defensive corners gets outside themselves and start making up stuff, doing all kind of crazy stuff that they're not used to doing. So now your defenders are confused. They're like, oh, man, we're supposed to be in this. And that's when a lot of big plays happen. It just creates a bunch of different issues. Rick Neuheisel said after the game, he was talking about who he sees when he watches. JJ, you tell me if you can get with this comparison. I'm interested to hear this. He said, man, you look at how he manipulates the pocket, how he extends plays, how he can process things on the run and Joe make Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. That's what he do. Because he protects the ball. He protects the ball. And, and people don't realize Joe Burrow can really move. He ain't as fast as JJ. But I'm talking about within the pocket and athletic ability within and out of the pocket. And, and if you need to go get a first down run and get it, Joe Burrow does a very good job of it. But I can see the comparison 100%. Yeah. And JJ said after the game, that's who I, that's who I pattern after. Yeah. I, it's Joe Burrow. You know what I, I love most about the, I didn't even bring up that play. That we that we broke down knowing that it yeah. just happened to be. You know, you know who you know what I love most about Joe Burrow is his in pocket ball security. You see guys running around one hand all the time, and I don't know if he's gonna start running with one hand because he got such a big uh, bag in the other hand, like he's just getting so much money. So he like, <laughs> I mean, all right, I don't need to win. He, was, he wasn't very good, to, but he's injured. You know, yeah. I ain't, I'm not gonna really hold that against him. But I'm telling you right now, he moves in that pocket with two hands on that ball, he no better. matter what. Because they don't really block. You're right. They don't block. <laughs> I mean, man, and that so, dude. Yeah. He, I mean, his his movement ability is I, I, he needs to stop playing, first of all. He needs to get completely healthy because you can't play like that. And you and you look garbage. And they just paid you all that money. And everybody going to say, man, he maybe wasn't as good as I thought. You know what I mean? You and as mentally tough as you are, you don't want to have to deal with that kind of thing because the more you hear it, right, subconsciously it could get inside and now that confidence that you always had which is one of your strengths you start to lose some of it so i would i would sit out like stop playing until you can really be who you are or until they get you a different offensive line yeah i mean definitely pat mahomes is is the best quarterback Not even it, close. It, period but all the love they give josh allen I don't know what I'm they like, talking about i'm like man joe burrow is that joe next burrow guy. Is, joe burrow is clearly the second best quarterback in football i don't even think it's close way he processes information and the way he has a short memory. Because we've seen quarterbacks get the hell beat out of him and it affect him. Mm-hmm. And this dude has been, I mean, David Carr, mm-hmm. David Carr, number one pick, and he was never the same. He got the hell beat. Mm-hmm. That's how much Joe Burrow is getting hit and look at how he still play. It's amazing. Yeah, I don't think it's close. I, I think one and two are very, very clear. And then Josh Allen's in competition with Jalen Hurts to be like three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, let's bring up In my opinion. Play. Bring up the next play. This is one that we're just showing. No telestration involved in this one, DG. Uh, but it was one that you wanted to highlight for the people. Yeah, I mean, just him getting on the edge, right? And from what I can see, this is looked like it was it was going to be a pull all the way, right? So this was designed to get him on the edge and 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 and, and stretch the defense, right, with his running ability. Um, and we know how important that is. We saw how that TCU game was drastically different when he inserted his legs into the game, especially right. in the red zone. When you get down in tight, his legs are so, – we love JJ. That's well, cool, I'm, that's I'm pausing to hear that, first of all, a CBS camera got it kind of caught off guard. But they got the, they have a the camera on Sharon. Uh-huh. This, you said this is a pull all the way. This is an example, <clears throat> then, of what Sharon was looking to do in this game. Mm. Clearly, Devin, he wanted to work the perimeter run game mm. and using the quarterback in this instance to do it. Yeah, I mean, I've – I think it's good. I think it's really, really good to, especially in these early games, let people see this stuff, right? Let people see this stuff, sprinkle it in here and there, right? So now they got one more thing to worry about, but they knew already. Everybody knows what J.J. is capable of in the run game. Uh, And like I said, in the TCU game, the game was vastly different when J.J.'s legs got involved. Uh, it, it, he looked like a totally different player. You know what I mean? He looked like a totally different player, and, and the game looked totally different, but obviously they ran out of time. All right, let's get the next play. 
And we get back to the telestrations here, Devin. And oh man, this is the next level, dude. <laughs> so you know you don't want to you you try to steer away from the whole Patrick Mahomes all that, but this is Patrick Mahomesy esque, if you will. Esk, esk. It, it, no, I want to say Patrick Mahomesy. This is real homie. This is real Mahomesy, right? So first, it's anticipatory passer, right? First, he's. You can see he's throwing the ball already. He's about to throw the ball, and the back of the receiver is turned, right? That's anticipatory. That's making sure you throw the ball before you can see you. And I talked about it last week. I teach the quarterbacks that I work with, especially on time and type patterns, do not let him see the ball coming. That's too late because if he sees it, especially if his own defense, the defense also sees it, right? But but I'm just telling you, it's three defenders that sees this, namely the corner who has five yards to get to the landmark in which he would stop this play. Five yards, and he's already running, right? He's in a sprint already, and he only has five yards to go. The ball in J.J. is 17-plus yards away. Watch this. Talk about arm strength. Ugh. That's unbelievable. <laughs> do you do you understand? Like, cause I took geometry, I ain't that great at it, but I know a guy running, and and this is a four five guy. I looked it up, right? That's how I was asking you who was that. That's a four five corner, right? So that's a normal corner in college football. No, no matter who he play, a guy that's already running, right? If he runs four five, he's got he should you know what I mean? Pick it up. That's a good football player. Most mm -hmm. corners in the NFL you got a lot of guys four five four four. We watch the combine every year. He's five yards away from where he needs to be. The ball hasn't left his hand, and he the ball beats him there. That's unbelievable, dude. So I and you know I, I'm I think very highly of my skills and myself. So, I don't know why I got that. So that's a lot of let's, juice. Let's think back. Let's think back. Michigan. State. I don't even think Cornelius Jones thought that ball would get through. He's <laughs> right, like, what right, the right. Heck? So I'm gonna give you a contrast right now. Let's think back to 2021 at Michigan State. Mm. Final interception. So you got a corner. <laughs> it's Sam a bully. I'm not a bully. I'm just saying, okay, go ahead. But, go the, ahead. but you see yeah, where I'm going with this play? It applies. It applies. It applies. It, it applies. applies. Yeah. Same scenario where the corner. Trying to bait him, kind of. Trying to bait him. He starts retreating to the receiver, trying to get in that hole. And... The same throw was made, but it didn't get there, and and the corner was able to pick it off. It's a lot of smoke on this ball, man. This is the difference. It's a lot of smoke. I like the little emoji, too. That's a lot of smoke on that ball. I'm trying to tell y'all. Look at this. It, it ain't even a perfect spiral. It, it would have went faster. It probably went too fast and knocked his gloves off this, if it would have been a perfect spiral. This should have been a gr the corner made at a At least play. a bat down. Yeah. It should have at least been a bat down. This is this was great corner play, except... Mm -hmm. He got beat by a superior ta physical talent. Easily. I mean, unbelievable. No, that was good. <laughs> that was good, man. I, I mean, I don't know what to say. What do you want from me? Moving on. I mean, and the next one is another arm strength uh, type of thing, too. So, man, I don't It's good stuff, man. Yeah. yeah. Five yards. I mean, the geometry majors out there. Five yards, 17 yards. You do the math on how fast he needs to throw this ball. You do that math. I want that math on the next Monday morning quarterback. Somebody give me that math on how, how fast the ball had to be traveling for him to beat him with the ball. A guy that runs 4-4 four, four, or 4-5, four, low 4-5, four, right? And the ball 17-plus yards away, yeah. plus the angle too, right? You got to think about that. 17 yards down the field, but then you got an angle as well. Yeah. I want some geometry made, some yeah. really smart people. I know. I mean, this is Michigan, so obviously. I want to get some numbers. I want to know how fast. Guestimation, of course. Uh, it might not be accurate but uh, or, or completely exact. I want to know how fast does that ball need to travel to make sure that was a completion. Yeah, man. And leave it in the comments. It'll be right. And we'll check it out just like, and be sure to check out that, that PayPal link too. You know, support, <laughs> support Monday morning quarterback film study. Of course. So check that out. But then we don't. No money. No, yeah, of course. No sponsorship. We don't get sponsored for this. No advertising. This is all strictly for your education, entertainment, and edification. Yes. That's why we need your support. But yeah, leave the answer to that geome geometry question. Or problem in the comments. And if right? it's not geometry, don't make fun and say, that ain't geometry, that's a different tree, math. Tree, yeah, just geometry. relax, okay? Just, just give us the answer, okay? I'm going to give you some trigonometry in there, man. <laughs> you got you covered. You I know somebody going to be a smart aleck. Oh, his boy don't have. Well, well, guess what? I call games. So I don't need to know about the geometry right now. 
You are right. You are right. You on you you in there, Dev. You in there. Or or trigonometry. I don't I've all never right. been in a trigonometry class, I can tell Ever? you. That. No. Okay. I'll avoid the math at all costs. Okay. All right. No problem. We love you anyway. Number We're six. moving on to where he throws it on one of my favorite plays, X two X glance off the play action, something we haven't seen. Stick that right foot in the ground on the fifth step and drive it in between two linebackers. Mm. <laughs> That's the ball, ladies and gentlemen. And so, pause that. Pause that. You know the old saying, when a guy got a strong arm, the one that everybody go to, I go to it sometimes, man, he can throw it through a car wash and not get wet. This is a the paradigm of what it looks like to throw it through a car wash and not get wet. That's a car wash. They couldn't even touch the ball. He threw it right in between them. They can see it coming and can't do nothing about it. This is one of my favorite plays. I done threw so many of these to Jeremy Gallon. H2 slow, X glance, right? You come off that play action all the weak side run and drive that ball right over the linebackers or through the linebackers in this case to the, the, the bang gate or, or the glance route. Nice, nice job. A very nice play. And this is something we haven't seen. We haven't seen that, that, off the play action, stick foot in the ground throw, right? We've seen the hitch, you know, downfield stuff. But this is that Tom Brady, that that Drew Brees, that thing where you can go, and Rodgers runs it a lot, where you can play on rhythm. That's the thing that we're seeing this year. He's playing on rhythm in a lot of different instances, on rhythm as far as the pass pattern is concerned, where the footwork suggests that you don't hitch, you don't hitch, drive the ball. He's playing on rhythm as far as getting through his reads, right? I got to hitch, 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 run up, do and make a play. Like he's just in complete control of what's going on. But I love that they've inserted this into the way they play football because we're a super pro style team, right? And this is big time pro style, right hash, use the weeks, uh, the uh, boundary, the the boundary side of the field, the, the short side of the field and throw it through a car wash without it getting wet. My goodness, that thing just fly right through. <laughs> the linebacker looking like, wait, I know that wasn't the ball. <laughs> I know that ball didn't just get past me. Unbelievable. Man, I mean, unbelievable. They're, they're in no man's land, man. I... <laughs> it's right in front of him. The ball is. You can see it. He's looking at the ball, and this other guy's looking at the ball. They can't get there. You know, the only way to play this is is not bite on the on the run action, which if you don't, if you don't, <laughs> Michigan, they're going to kill you. Sam. So you got to pick your poison. Sam. They didn't even truly bite on the run action, man. They took a couple steps. I guess, right? I guess, yeah. I mean. But they're right there. I mean, <laughs> they did a pretty good. You, hey, people talk, oh, this UNLV. Those dudes did a pretty good job of going into the line of scrimmage and then getting back. And and still couldn't couldn't do anything uh, about it. That's that's an outstanding play. Uh, and I love the new style. That I mean, not new style, but that kind of play style where it's a one-side read, right? And then he probably is going to have – uh, we used to have a bench on the backside, right? So you got bench on the backside, and especially in the Big Ten, they play so much cover four backside when you're on the hash and that kind of look, right? Because Michigan likes to run the ball, and in cover four, what do you need to do? You need to make sure you get those safeties down to help in the run game, right? Where you got a bench on the backside, he runs stems. Bench, get, a bench. A bench, yes, a bench <laughs> route. <laughs> a bench route on the backside. A bench route, which is a, a stem corner. And, and, you know, some of the kids call it the Madden corner. If you play Madden, it's the corner from the outside, right? So you stem them in, go vertical, and then you just essentially run a corner that can be flattened out with the throw. And, and if you get to co if you get cover two on that side, where it's cover six, cover two on one side, cover six, four to the other side, you can come out of that fake, not throw that glance because maybe it's not there or the square out or wherever it is, and you can go back side. And I'm sure he'll have that plan, but to be able to throw that thing right th right right through the linebackers is super impressive. Another example of, of arm strength. All right, let's get the last play, and this is a another show play. Uh, where no illustration, but you really wanted to. Yeah, and, really and, to break and this so much. I, I mean, because we've already talked about what he's capable of doing and pocket movement, but this is a lot of trash at his feet, man. A lot of trash, and he stays a passer, right? Just, just I used to do a drill with the kids. I need to start doing more often again. Is we used to do uh, it's cone, it's kind of a cone drill where you climb up to a cone, you back out, you climb up, you back out, but you stay a passer and move as quickly as you can, right? Obviously, your legs get tired and all those different things. His ability to climb so quickly, right? Climb so quickly, find the open space, and, and then set up and make this pinpoint throw. Uh, super impressive. Super impressive because guys are down on the ground at his feet. And and so many quarterbacks take their eyes and put him in the rush, especially when guys are falling all in front of him. Right? Guys all in front of him, he just climbs to the open space and then drives his ball perfectly on the on the right upfield shoulder of uh, Roman Wilson. Roman Wilson, you almost got that call back. <laughs> 
<laughs> if they were trying to be petty, they would have got you at the one yard line. So don't do that no more. Wait till you get past the goal line. Then act crazy. But uh, and then and then also I wanted to show this play. Obviously, it's a great play and the footwork and all that because that's something that's kind of the theme of 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 what we've seen these last couple of weeks is the footwork is so much better and being able to play fast and still have really good footwork and, and the technique. But this is that play where the 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 broadcast showed the forty seven on his mm-hmm. hand. Uh, and went through that whole story about how his friend passed away right, and yeah. all those different things. And then from the 47 yard line, he throws a touchdown. That's 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 storybook. Like uh-huh. if they make a movie about you know JJ McCarthy or something, it's gonna be like, hey, yeah. And this one time, and people gonna be like, oh, Disney made that up. No, nah, you know man. what I mean, type of thing. Like it, that that was super. That was amazing. And then he's pointing to it like he knew his 47 yard touchdown. And it's not like that play was oh we're on the 47 yard line. Let's call a, a play to go get in the end zone. He threw like a shallow cross. Like it, it, it wasn't. I mean, maybe it wasn't supposed to score, but somehow it did. And it's because of his movement and he gets the ball to him. So that was that was super yeah. cool. You know, uh, it was the kid's name was Ryan Keeler, mm-hmm. and you know, obviously been knowing JJ and his family since. He was in high school, of super good family and whatnot. But my first time going to Naz and hanging out, it was the, the the Keelers. Not only did they like, you know, come and do interviews, just like JJ did, man. Herb, his dad was like, hey, man, let me take you to this Irish bar. Took me to this Irish bar. We hung out. He was like, man, I'm going to take you to the best. I'm going to give you the best frozen yogurt in Chicago. We went over there. He was mm. breaking it down. Then he was like, hey. You get speeding tickets? I was like, no. Nah. He said, you ever get a speeding ticket? I got you. Because, you know, Herb is like big in the Chicago Police Department. I mean. You only just, in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Only in Chicago. Only in Chicago. Only in Chicago. Like, man, he big time. You got a number? <laughs> <laughs> only in Chicago. Yeah. My point is, man, that whole family, super good people. Mm. Ryan was a super good dude. Super yeah. good. Just a great kid, man. And, you know, Michigan recruited for a while. He wound up going to Rutgers and then transferring to UNLV. Mm. And it's a super sad story yeah. just to a kid yeah. whose clock was punched too soon. Of course. And so J.J., I knew when the news hit that this was going to hit him, especially that was his left tackle. Mm-hmm. That was his dude. So it was definitely something else. It was – that's just not, not just happenstance that there's a 47-yard touchdown right when they're talking about it. That – so well. No, it is just happenstance. I don't know how it no, happened. No, I'm, ta- I'm talking yeah. about uh, – if you believe oh, in higher power. Oh, of course, yes. It had to yeah. stand here on earth, but yeah. somebody else is, you yeah. know, I'm Absolutely. a believer, you're a believer, obviously. So, but 100%. that was that that was that was that was something else, man. That was that was pretty cool. No doubt. So, really, many of the questions that people have for you from uh from TMI, you've addressed. Like they said, who would be your pro comparison to JJ? Joe Burrow. Well, guess you already- what? I'm a pro. Okay. <laughs> I know what the people are gonna ask. So we only gotta go through all that. We, I know what the people are going to ask. So I'm going to make sure I cover everything. And if you probably got questions of me, you're just making up stuff probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we are very thorough. Uh, all right. <laughs> we we addressed the question that they had. One user wanted to know about Roman Wilson on that. Man. Or that first on Man. that flood. How about this one, though? This is not one that you... Um, directly addressed. Let's say that because I probably one, did in some one way. That you haven't directly addressed. Passing game has looked more efficient this year. Is it that the receivers have been getting open at a higher clip? Man, no, this is a bad question, man. That J.J. has been finding them better or that the scheme has leveled up overall? What say you, Devin Gardner? J.J.'s a better quarterback. He's worked on things. His fundamentals, he got a better understanding of the offense and what's asked of them. The one thing I will say, uh, and this goes throughout all of football and, and people as quarterbacks, right? At first, you just learn what everybody has to do, right? Trips right. The Z lines up on the outside. The the zebra lines up in the slot. The H lines up as number three, or the, or the tight end, the Y, or and the the X is backside. All right? You take the next step. It's two by two, and you want to go slot formation, right? You want to get the X on the same side as Z. You go slot, right? Left slot, right? You got tight end on the left. Z comes over, right? Or X comes over. You're learning these things, the formations and, and the plays. All right, versus this look we want to run inside zone, right? Just the basics of football plays in, or in your playbook. But then there's that level you take it to with the small intricacies of, like, the how and why we're doing this. All right, we get to what we're doing, right? And that's where I think J.J. was last year, a bunch of what. 
What are we doing? Okay, I know what we're doing. We're doing this. And he goes here, and I throw here. He goes there, I throw there, whatever. But now he's 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 immersed himself much deeper in the why he's doing it. And when you understand the why, right, it takes you to a whole entire different level. And so he's like, are the are the concepts like more like fancy? No, we, we've outlined. They're just running smash and from different looks. And I'm telling you, I got an eight-year-old. I, I need to see you the film too. Lil Musa, he running smash, man. They did an orbit motion the other day. An orbit motion with eight-year-olds, seven, eight-year-olds did an orbit motion. He pumped fake to the orbit motion and then came back to the middle. I said, <laughs> this is getting out of hand. By the time we talk about Monday morning quarterback, when he's the quarterback at Michigan, it's go, I'm not even going to understand. He's going to teach me some stuff, and I'm going to have an inside then. <laughs> but it, it's still super elementary, right? The, the concepts aren't super complicated. They're just doing it from different formations and different looks. But the understanding of the how and why, what can I do? Can I pump fake him, get him to commit and then throw that? Because in most often, like on that last play we saw with the strength, not not the last play, the second to last play, the arm strength of throwing that kind of corner out route with the – that ball last year probably just goes to the hitch, which is a good play. Mm-hmm. Right? The corner's bailing, you should throw the hitch. But when you get the why, what do I have? What kind of what kind of leeway do I have here? Do, can I try – can I get this? Oh, yeah, I can't. Right, and he drives it in. So I think that the the understanding of the why, accompanied with the fundamentals and the improvement in that way, uh, is is the reason is the answer to that question. That's why we have been uh, Michigan's been outstanding. If you like the Buddy Boardy quarterback, like the video, subscribe to the channel. That helps us keep going and growing. Of course, the PayPal link. Check it out. That's how you help support. The Monday morning quarterback film study. We can get everything supported. Yeah, because make- I got three Emmys. I'm getting expensive. Yeah. I don't think Sam can afford me. He is getting expensive. <laughs> yeah, All right, so expensive. folks, uh, the entertainment and edification and, 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 and education <laughs> of the people is what this video is about, but you can support us on PayPal. That's going to do it for this episode, this edition of the Monday morning quarterback film study. We'll see you next week.